Well, uh, what we've got is two queries. This thing over here produces something very boring. And all we get is the number 65 from it. Okay? And a bit, so 65 point something. This one over here is using that value. So what we actually do is combine the pair of them and they become sort of like a join thing. And what happens is this part here, our 65, gets replaced by that whole query. So the whole lot of that takes its spot. And what would happen is it would look a bit like this. So I'm just going to get this whole query. We'll shove it over here. We're going to get that whole query. And what happens, instead of the value 65, we just paste that query there. So I'll just tab it across a bit so it sort of looks like it's... And what we do is surround it in brackets. So it's basically saying, show me the one that is smaller than this number that I calculated. And that's how a subquery works. So we can find different things. We'll do other ones of those. But we know that this query here produces the number 65. Okay, so we can use that in our query. Does that make a bit of sense? Right, I'll try and copy that into Excel and do access in one hit. So create a query design. Okay, so here's our query. I'll just move this stuff across. It doesn't need to be too accurate. It doesn't care. Okay, we then look at that, and there are our people again. So that's the same result as we got before pretty well. So realistically, it's using two very simple queries. So there's nothing too difficult about doing that or doing that. So I don't know why people have massive issues with subqueries. Usually there's no group buys. You can have group buys in them or havings and whatever, but they don't leave them. Could you, instead of writing all that, just put um, average bracket percentage? No. So if you just put average percentage here, it won't know what it is. It doesn't know what you're getting. You need to tell it the tables. In this case, you need to say it's from chemistry. So if I didn't do things like put that in there, it would be the average for everybody. So it would be that 53. So you're lining up chemistry with everybody else's. Yeah. yeah. So this one doesn't need, thanks fellas, this one doesn't need anything about the students. So we're simply producing a number looking at those two tables. This one does need the student's name because obviously we want to spit it out up the top. Any other questions? Right, we will do more of those, but the bell is all but on us. So.